It's good old Scottish whiskey. <laughs> Sparkling wine and some peach snaps. <laughs> to my mama and dad, thank you for your love and support over the years. You have always been there when I have needed you. I feel lucky to have such wonderful parents. You have taught me so much, it must be very hard to come to terms that you've raised a perfect son. <laughs> As a token of my appreciation, please accept my gift to you. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses to John, Eileen, Colin and Anne. Cheers! That leads me to the star of today, my gorgeous new wife, Laura. I can't even begin to tell you how stunning you look today. I saw you coming out of that aisle and I realised it definitely is me getting the best deal. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, I love you in so many ways and for so many reasons. You know me and understand me like no one ever else will. You make me laugh and smile so often. You have a way of bringing the best of me. But mostly because you're my very best friend, my soulmate, I love you. With all my heart, thank you for marrying me today and making me the happiest man alive and for loving me as much as I love you. I know it's the start of many more happy years together. I did look on the internet some, uh, the other day for some ideas and come across some <laughs> short verses written, written by Wilfred Pitson called The Art of Marriage. I would like to read this to Laura, but I find the words apply equally to every one of you. The little things are the best things. It never, it never been too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is no time in taking the other for granted. The courtship should never end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all years. <coughs> It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together and facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other. Not in this attitude of duty and sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating graduate in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting the husband to wear the halo or the wife to wear the wings of angel. It is not a lot looking for the perfect in each other. It is flexible, patient and an understanding sense of humour. It is having the capable to forgive and forget. It is giving each other the atmosphere in which it can grow. In the finding the room and things in the spirit, it is come and search for the good and beautiful. It's a relationship in which the independence of the people, dependence and mutual, is not only marrying the right partner, it's being the right partner. Laura, in front of all my family and friends, I promise I will try this to practice their art. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the most important toast I'm ever going to make. <laughs> to my wife, my bride, Laura. See you later. Sit down again now. <laughs> <laughs> to 
to our bridesmaids, Claire, Kate, and Tasha. I'm sure everyone will agree you look stunning today. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for all your help and also being there for my wife. I know how much support you have given, Laura, and up to include in this day. Also, thanks for arranging the good old Hindu. She had a great time. <laughs> she loved it sharing with great friends, so thank you very much. Here is a few gifts for the bridesmaids. Thank you very much. A very big thank you must also go to Ava and James for doing a great job today. You made a great flower gel and page boy and I'll give you a gift a bit later on. <laughs> I would now, now like to at once raise your glasses and join me to a toast for the bridesmaids, flower girl and page boy. A very big thank you must also go to Barry for organising my stag do. I haven't had a great night in our ages. Thank you very much, Baza. Anytime. A big thank you must also go to George my brother Chris, and Laura's brother Chris, for making the day run smoothly. Also, thanks to George and Chris for doing a great job on the readings. Here Last month, he told me it was more nervous than I was giving the speech. <laughs> so feel free, feel free, thrill to help with during his speech. <laughs> That's enough for me. So I would like to thank you once again and hope you have a great evening. It now gives me the great pleasure to hand you over to Wayne. Thank you very much. <laughs> 